that ATO last year was uh, huge for me. That's uh, one of the big things I wanted to do after my college season is uh, get some pro experience uh, before my first full season. So getting in there and uh, you know getting those like eight games in last year that really helped me. You know for the for the summer coming up and you know it's knew what I had to do to to play at that level and everything and just what the whole pro game was about and every game in that uh, ATO I felt a little stronger and a little bit more comfortable and then leading into the summer and then into uh, camp and then obviously this season I felt uh, you know I felt confident going in uh, from day one that I could make uh, an immediate impact and. Just as the season went along, I thought, you know, it's, uh, it's I stuck with the process and just kept on progressing. And that's uh, the big thing I wanted to do is, uh, you know, no matter what kind of success uh, I've had in uh, the beginning, you're just always trying to develop and always just keep getting better. And that's one thing that I've uh, really taken pride in. And this season, just always uh, keep trying to elevate my game as the season went on. And the coaches continue to say that through the postseason in particular, you were one of those guys that elevated your game and were, were consistently contributing to your club. Uh, you talked to or Coach Huska had made mention as well that during that middle part of our season where things weren't going the, the team's way, you were one of those guys that was consistently producing. What's it, what's it feel like to have your coaching staff believe in you so much, give so much trust to a, a first-year player, uh, and, and also kind of give you that praise that hey what you're doing is in fact what you need to be doing yeah definitely I think uh, you know the coaching staff has been huge and they've been great uh, for me ever since I got here from day one from the ATO last year and then this season they've been uh, great they've put a lot of trust in me and to play in all situations which has really helped uh, really helped me and my, my confidence obviously when the coaching staff has that much faith and, and trust in you then uh, you know you can just go out and play your game uh, and and uh, you get really comfortable out there so I felt, uh, you know, with uh, the coaching staff and everything they've done and all the opportunity they gave me, that's uh, that's huge. And then, obviously, uh, to hear those uh, those things from the coaches, that's just uh, that's just another another good thing that I have to to build off of and uh, and get uh, have get ready for a good summer here. And you had to be a rookie leader on this team, but there was a lot of veteran leaders there uh, in the club. And when you look at the center position, it's probably easy to, to, to think that you probably had some conversations, some face-off battles in practice, and uh, got a little bit of advice from guys like Mike Angelitis and Lyndon Vey, uh, among plenty of other guys in that, that room as well, Brandon Bullock, another guy. Was there anything or a couple things that you maybe took from those guys, uh, whether it be on or off the ice, uh, and employed in your own life? I think it's just everything of how those guys conduct themselves. I think, uh, you know, for us rookies this year, we were really fortunate to have the leadership that we had from the top down. It was, uh, you know, obviously Mikey uh, Angelitas, you know, he's uh, a great captain and we were really fortunate to have him lead us and uh, just all the other vets that uh, we had and we had too many to name all of them, but it, they've just been so great from off the ice, on the ice, just showing uh, showing how to be a good pro. and. And you know, especially when you see us in the in those playoff series, all those block shots, you know that uh, those veteran guys, you know, Mikey and and Bowles and uh, all those guys, and it's uh, it just shows you, you know, what it takes and uh, what uh, what kind of character those guys have and how uh, we should we should follow in their footsteps. With all things considered, now when you look back at the season as a whole, uh, obviously it was kind of a roller coaster ride. Some peaks and valleys are ex to be expected. You guys maybe a little bit to the extreme when it comes to peaks and valleys as a team, but ultimately at the end of the year you claw your way back into a playoff spot and you take the top team in the Western Conference to a, a final game five and actually overtime in that game five. I, is it a point to, to be proud of what you guys accomplished over the course of the season with all things considered? Absolutely I think we have to be proud of, uh, of what we did and uh, you know all the guys in the locker room. Uh, obviously it stings the way we uh, went out but you know we'll realize this summer you know what we what we did this season was pretty special and you know that last run to get into the playoffs. That's uh, you know not a lot of teams have the have the grit and character to do that. And for us, you know that starts from our leadership and the coaching staff and all the way down. It's uh, you know it was it was uh, it was a great run for us and uh, it was really fun to be a part of. It's a great group of guys and for my first pro season, uh, I'm just really lucky and fortunate to uh, to have been a part of this team. It's just been uh, it was a great great year overall on and off the ice and just uh, it's been really fun to be in this uh, locker room with these guys. What's next for Mark Jankowski going into this offseason? I imagine this is an important offseason for you to get some training done and try and showcase uh, what you could potentially bring to Calgary. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I'm going to look look forward to getting back in the gym this uh, this summer and obviously just uh, trying to get my overall strength. Uh, like, like every summer I have, uh, trying to get up. And I think uh, it's a really big summer for me. Obviously, I want to... Uh, 
I want to show what I can, show what I can do in camp and, and push for a spot in Calgary. That's my goal, and that's what I'll be thinking of uh, when I'm training this summer. That's uh, I'm, I want to make uh, make this make the team out of camp. Is it easy to stay focused, seeing how things in Calgary are, are shifting right now, where there looks to be a couple spots that are available, and is it kind of help you kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel as to what you could be making? Uh, I guess what you could be working for over this summer. Yeah, I think uh, for me, it's just I'm trying to focus on, uh, you know, myself and my game and what I do, because I know if, uh, you know, if I have a good summer and if I really push myself and uh, and I show in camp that I can uh, make an impact at the next level, then uh, I think they'll, they'll make they'll make room and they'll they'll make a spot. So it's uh, nothing's obviously given. And you have to work for everything. And so for me, I'm just uh, I'm really focused on that and having a really good summer and then uh, hopefully impressing them in camp. You were also one of those guys as well that uh, did a lot of community appearances in Stockton. Was it really important for you to get out and into the community here in Stockton, especially in your rookie season, and not only establish what you want to do uh, as a person, uh, but also you always mention every time we talk about community stuff, trying to grow the game here? Yeah, exactly. That's, uh, that's huge. I mean, uh, for me... You know, growing up in Canada, you know, hockey's huge. As soon as you're born, it's you feel like you're born into hockey. And, you know, you come here and it kind of opens your eyes a little bit how not, not many people really know too much about the sport. And uh, so, yeah, I just tried to do as much as I could. And, you know, I went to a lot of schools and did a lot of school visits and saw the, uh, the students. And, you know, you just realize that they don't really know much about hockey. And you start talking to them about it and they get kind of excited. And then they come out to a game and maybe they, they fall in love with the sport like I did at a young age. So... That's just one thing that I really thought, uh, you know, I could hopefully make an impact here. So many accolades for you in your rookie season, but is there any one thing that sticks out to you that you, you are most proud of? Um, I'd probably have to say the Man of the Year award from uh, for the Stockton Heat. It's, uh, you know, obviously all the other awards are great, and uh, I couldn't couldn't have got them without the, uh, you know, the support of the, the team. and. The, the coaching staff and my line mates and uh, and all the leaders and everything on the, on the team but uh, yeah for me I think just the uh, the off the ice you know man of the year award just doing what my part to, uh, to you know help grow the game like you said and then obviously just trying to uh, you know see see the looks on the, the kids faces when you know you're in there and you're having a good time with them joking around and just uh, and just talking not even about hockey all the time just just talking about uh, life and stuff it's uh, it's pretty fun. We talked, I think, at the end of last year about potentially that chip on your shoulder where you were consistently doubted on uh, before you even stepped foot on a, on a pro ice or even an NCAA ice surface, in fact, uh, going back to that draft. Do you feel like you've done enough now where all of those doubts should be completely wiped out for, for people that had been doubting you over the past? Um, I haven't really thought about it that way. I mean, uh, for me, I've never really been tr uh, trying to get caught up in that stuff of, you know, there's obviously people out there that... Uh, you know, they're, they're gonna. Some people are gonna love you. Some people are gonna hate you, and that's just the way the way it is. So I've tried to not really get caught up in that. And you know, uh, for me, I'm not really trying to prove anyone wrong. I'm just trying to uh, to do my part and just uh, focus on myself. And uh, hopefully, there's going to be a little bit of time in between the big summer training uh, to try and get a little bit of uh, R and R. Maybe. Uh, do you have any fun summer plans that you you're gonna take uh, a little bit of time away from hockey? Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to uh, take a couple a couple weeks here and just uh, yeah rest, re rejuvenate, and just uh, get the body ready for uh, for a good hard summer training. I uh, I have some things in the works. I don't really know exactly what uh, what the plans are yet, but uh, yeah, just probably ho hopefully catch up with some uh, some old buddies from college and from back home, and then uh, obviously get some time with the family, which is nice.